Hey folks, uh, this is Theo Watson. Um, we're uh, trying to put out uh, quite a bit of information out there to make the government contractors involved in um, either IG investigations or some type of um, uh, federal law enforcement agency investigation, whether it be the Department of Justice or uh, some other agency who is targeting um, you know, small businesses or even large government contractors for some level of procurement fraud, whether it be violation of the False Claims Act, Procurement Integrity Act, or even um, a lot of cases uh, recently are coming out where um, the agency is pursuing uh, small businesses for violation of the SBA 8A program, Hub Zone program, and even service disabled vet. Um, one of the things we're trying to um, pass this information out is that companies should be aware that even at the initial stages during the uh, investigation, yes, they have a uh, requirement to cooperate with uh, law enforcement and government investigative agencies. However, um, they should understand their legal constitutional rights that's involved. Um, you know, for example, um, you know, a lot of companies may believe that they are doing nothing wrong or following um, what they believe to be the uh, Federal Acquisition Regulations or SBA regulations or um, whatever type of um, procurement regulation is involved. Um, the government investigation process um, is a very serious matter and, you know, that can also lead to uh, criminal um, charges or even civil charges. The fines are extremely high. Um, Oftentimes, um, there is either a uh, false claims act or whistleblower situation where, as a prime contractor, um, you're implicated and hence an investigation is launched. Even if you're a subcontractor, you are still on the hook for false claims to the federal government. Um, when it comes to investigations, um, you know, it's advisable to seek um, counsel. Um, most companies may find or go directly to a criminal defense attorney, but the problem usually there is that um, you're dealing with very specific uh, federal regulations as far as procurement, and sometimes the criminal defense attorneys who are not familiar with government contract law may find themselves um, at a disadvantage. So you want to take a look at, uh, at your choices and how you are um, going about uh, protecting your rights. Um, you also have to look at how you uh, respond to requests uh, for subpoenas. Um, obviously, um, you do have a right to, um, you know, protect any um, uh, privileged information. And but the problem there is, is sometimes you may choose to withhold information that may not be actually protected, and that just um, puts you at further risk. Um, we're going to be uh, putting out. Um, some more information as time goes by when it comes to uh, procurement fraud, False Claims Act, and other associated um, cases that lead to investigations. You can also feel free to give us a call at 1-866-601-5518 uh, if you need um, any type of uh, defense legal services.